I will give a quick overview of the other options available for you to visualize the data or present information in Excel through illustrations. So Excel gives you a lot more ways to present information in a visually effective way. For example, I can click insert and I see many options available under illustrations and I can insert a picture if I would like. I can insert clip arts and I can also insert shapes arrows and basic shapes, rectangle, for example, if I want a rectangle, I can just insert a rectangle like this and I will see more options available for me to customize the look of the specific shape and I can control the borders and outlines and basically you have all, a lot of control over how your object or how your shape uh, looks. And you can also enter information within the text, for example. So I can type it in and I can change or control the, the color and the appearance of the text. So Excel gives you a lot of tools to insert other objects such as shapes and there are more available here. And Excel also provides smart art, which is also available in other applications like the Microsoft PowerPoint, where you can have preset options where you can choose a specific graphic and then Excel will insert that and then now you can actually fill it out with your own information and now it is inside your worksheet. And one thing you need to understand here is that these objects are actually in their own layer just like a chart. They can actually float on top of your worksheet over the grid of cells and depending on the object, you see different ribbons pop up here. I can change the colors if I would like. So Excel has a lot of these tools available. My goal is not to go into in-depth into all these options, but I want you to know that they're all available here in this illustration section where you can insert these predefined smart arts. You can insert shapes of different shapes. You can insert pictures if you would like. These are all readily available to you. And if I want to, for example, delete a specific object and I'm going to select this and then I'm going to hit delete and that will remove the object from me, from my screen. And I can move the object to other places if I would like. And another thing I want to point out is that Excel also allows you to enter text here in such different formats which are more visually appealing in some cases which can be distracting in some cases so i would like you to choose based on the need but these options are available and i can again click them and then delete it and let me go back to insert you also have a simple text box that you can create and type and you can also insert text boxes inside the charts and they will stay within the charts but you can also insert the text boxes anywhere if you want to communicate something to the reader. And there are also uh, comments that you can insert. For example, I can click, right click, and then I can hit insert comment. And here I can type in a comment. This book is one of the best books. For example, this is my comment on this book name and I can enter it here and I can choose to show this comment, for example, here, show comments, and this will always be visible to the reader. And this is another way I can communicate to whoever is using the spreadsheet. And also sometimes it's useful to me if I am the creator of this worksheet. This is a reminder or this is a note that I'm attaching. Maybe I forget about certain things in a specific data set and I can use these comments to um, remind myself about it. So I can delete the comment or I can edit the comment or I can just hide it from the view. And if I hide it, if I come over, my, if I take my mouse over to the cell, it, it appears. And then if I move away from the cell, it disappears. I can delete the comment if I would like to. So there are so many different tools that Excel provides to help you communicate effectively the message or the story that you're trying to communicate using your information.